Let's play with stickers together, shall we? For this video, I'm going to be setting up the gratitude and highlight section in my journal, and I'm going to be using the July Molly Monthly Kit from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And it's just a two-page kit. And then I've got date dots that are left over from a Sweet Quiet Designs um, Itty Bitty Size Year of the Rabbit Kit. And then I have red and green polka dot washi tape from Occasional Motto. Okay, so I usually start with these top and, or the, I was about to say top and bottom washies. I usually start with the larger stickers. These are size for a Erin Condren monthly, so they're supposed to go across the top of an Erin Condren, but I'm using it in an A5 Stalogy. So, ew, do I want to do it that way or do I want to, hmm. I feel like every month I do this, usually something goes wrong. So let's see. Just take my washi card from, uh, what is this from? Uh, Sweet Bean Plants. Use that to kind of, okay. Kind of get it in the crease a little bit. And then I'm going to slice the sticker at the crease. Oops, nope, I'm going angled. Hold on. And poor Molly, I just cut off her tail. Come on. In my last Stalogy video, I was using um, Itty Bitty Sticker Co. stickers. And it was like a large deco sticker. And when I pulled off one of the mollies, I accidentally ripped off her head. So poor thing, I'm ripping off her head and cutting off her tail with these stickers lately. I might need to get a new slice tool. I don't know if you can switch the blades on these or not, but yeah, this one's not cutting right now. And I don't, I can't tell if it's because I got a little bit of a hump in my planner, but it doesn't really wanna slice. So I'll probably just grab scissors or something later. So I'm more slicing the pages than the actual sticker. So that's fine. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so instead of using tabs in here, I've been doing washi tape on the edge. I don't do the whole, I don't do the whole edge of the page. I just do like part of it. That is way too far up. I saw this on um, Living the Journal Life's channel that she uses washi tape. Come on. Come on. Go down straight. Here we go. And my washi card is here. Okay. Nope. No. Ugh. It's one of those days that things are not working out for me. Peel off. So whenever I fold this over, I just leave a little bit of an edge to help it kind of stick out a bit like a tab, but it doesn't stick out too much. 
Oops. There we go. And like I said, that's just how living the journal life does that. She uses it in her Hobonichi cousin. So it just sticks out a little bit to kind of mark where, um, to mark the month, but it's not a whole ton of, um, it's not a ton of stickers sticking out. So, okay. Do I want to add more? I don't think I do. I did last month. Well, see up here, it could be cute. But I don't know about down here. Well, I'll just throw it down. I think I put these stickers up higher than I normally do. These larger ones. I went with the first grid line. Just because I tend to put these down crooked. So I wanted to make sure it was fairly straight. So I, so I went with the first grid line. And this washi tape is from Occasional Motto. She used to sell these like multi-packs that had six rolls of washi tape and a roll of like washi tape stickers. But when I went to link them recently, I noticed she doesn't really do them anymore. So, okay. So this left side is my gratitude section. And I told myself last month I was going to do gratitude every day. And I put trackers in my a and my Hobonichi Weeks, but I still didn't really do my gratitude every day. It's really hard. I don't know why, but it's just, for me, it's really hard. But I know there are some days that I'm just really tired, and at the end of the day, I just go to bed instead of sitting down at my journal and writing stuff in. So I thought about sitting down, like, in the mornings, like with my breakfast and doing a little bit of journaling and then doing my gratitude then for like the day before. But I haven't really done it yet. But I think that might be the better way to do it if I want to get, or want to do, yeah, I want to get my gratitude in every day. Okay, I went and checked to see how many days were in July, and there's 31, so um, I think, I was thinking about having the 30 down here and doing the 31 midway, but sometimes I use up the whole line for um, my gratitude, so I think what I'm going to do is, let's see, yeah. um, I'm going to draw a line to divide out my little gratitude section. I thought about going to get some type of washi tape, but I don't feel like having to find another washi tape that'll go with this color scheme. I had a hard time finding it in general, and then this polka dot washi tape was like the only thing I had. So let's see, we're going to take... A, I think we're gonna do one of the Bill Do stickers, and um, let's do the blue, the dark blue, the dark blue, yeah. And we're gonna center it up here. I'm gonna eyeball center it because I, ooh. That's so crooked. Although nothing is really straight in my planner. I have a lot of crooked stickers and I'm okay with that. And I'm going to use, I have somewhere, is it in the brown section? I think it is. I have an ice cream molly that I'm gonna use to mark. Yep, right there. I think this might be Molly Loves Ice Cream or something like that. Here we go. And we're going to use that to cover up the Bill Do section. I'm trying not to touch the um, 
oh, what is that? The ink, my, yeah, the line. I'm trying not to touch the line and keep from smearing it. Okay, so this is highlights, so I'm just going to go ahead and write that in. I told myself I was going to practice writing gratitude and highlights, and then I didn't do it this month. I don't know why, I just didn't. But I need to do that sometime. Okay, so I like to take the four large boxes, or the four squares. Is that what they are? I guess they're rectangles. They are a bit longer. Um, we're going to do dark blue right there. Shoot, or shoot, do do. I want the pink up top. Yeah. Okay. That might be up a little high. Oops. And I just kind of throw these down. I try really hard not to think too much about it. I just try to them down and wherever they land is where they land not bad I like that okay so this is all for the highlights of the month the books that I read the movies or the TV shows that I watched um, I don't think I need any more off of this sheet okay I had pulled out these Molly loves being the riveter stickers and also my uh, hang in though hang in there Molly or Molly is hanging in there stickers. I can't decide if I want to use them. I might do the Riveter Molly. Just put her right here. Does she fit? Do I like that? I don't know. Do it there. There, I committed. There we go. Cute. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to call that good. So I will use the date covers and the date dots at a later time. And then the boxes I'll use um, kind of as things come up and um, just kind of when I'm like sitting down to fill out my spread. Because sometimes I don't fill this out till like the end of July to... Um, kind of make it look as nice as possible. So I'll just save these for then. Uh, sometimes I'll use them in another like stylogy plan with me for my weekly planning. And then I used up all the date dots on that sheet. So the July kit and then the I Can Do It sticker and the Ice Cream Cat sticker are all from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And if you use the code, the Molly Squad, you can get 10% off your order plus a cute little freebie. Links to all the products, as long as I can find them, will be in the description box down below if you'd like to go check them out. If you enjoyed this video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!